main problems at the track. On the street, I don't have a problem with it because the speeds are a lot lower. But just braking and grabbing as many downshifts as I need before going into the corner and, of course, keeping the bike settled. Um, I've read A Twist of the Wrist 2, and what would you... I, I've talked to different people, and I, if I'm not mistaken, like part of the instructors that you have or a setup that you guys had at Laguna Seca it had the green bike that uh, is computerized and you clutch this upshifting, downshifting while braking. And then oh, I yeah. talked to some right. other guys that say, that I've been working on for 10 years. Yeah, the com so little computer work. screen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. It's awesome. just difficult to... So what do you want to know about? Clutch, uh, upshifting and downshifting? No, just that compared to while braking, downshifting and blipping compared to just downshifting um, without the brake. Because I've heard it both ways. Some people have told me, don't brake, just downshift, 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 get all your downshifts done, and then hard brake before entering the corner. And then... Um, no, that's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great idea. You know, you go up, get on your bike and go, you know, go down the straightaway about 175 and, right. and then start downshifting it for the corner. And then, I mean, when the pistons come out through the tailpipe, <laughs> not a big deal. Really. Slow down pretty quick. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> no, the the thing is. Um, no, of course you use the brakes first. That's what they're for. Right. Yeah. So you would brake first, but holding the brake while down. I mean, while blipping, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the craft of the whole thing is being able to brake and and do the throttle lifts at the same time. Right. And you know how many people are good at that. Yeah, I'm not at the I'm moment. Tell you that, uh, well, I don't know. How, how many of you are, are flawless with your braking and downshifting? You can keep perfect brake control. Do not have the bike surge right when you're pulling the clutch in, revving the motor, taking taking it down through the gears, and you're and you can do it, and then you don't even have to think about it. Can we use a slipper clutch? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, I do not have slipper clutch and get it perfect all the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, one out of maybe every 150 or 200 people who are even vaguely sort of familiar with it. But, yeah, it's, it's, a much, it's much easier and it's a thousand times more satisfying than, you know, going, clump. Right. Like, <laughs> 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 clutch, you know, yeah, it feels creepy. No, I can do the blipping part. It's the breaking part I have a problem with at the same time, you know, without pogoing. Yeah. That's the problem. He's maintaining control over the brake Correct. lever while still doing the blip. Correct. Yeah, exactly. It definitely requires a little bit of uh, a little bit of and coordination. It's, it's the most it's the most complex control sequence you can do on a motorcycle. First of all, is okay. braking and downshifting at the same time. You've got four controls going at the same time, right. and five if you're actually turning in, starting to turn in into a, into a turn. And in, in your class, is that in the first session yes, or is that a second? What? Your classes are in sessions, right? Levels. Levels, okay. Each of the levels is a package of skills, right? It has nothing to do with experience. Right. It has nothing to do with how cool you are. Or Just a progression, right? It's a package. Each of the levels is a package of skills.